Loops are essential in programming for repeating tasks, and the for loop is a powerful tool for iterating over a range of values. We'll start with a basic example to illustrate how the for loop works and gradually explore its various features and applications. Let's compare the manual printing of numbers from 1 to 10 with using a for loop. With manual printing approach, we explicitly print each number from 1 to 10. This method can be tedious and repetitive, especially for larger ranges of numbers. On the other hand, the for loop provides a more efficient and concise way to achieve the same result. By specifying the range of values, 1 to 10, and the variable, i, to iterate over that range, we can print each number using a single loop iteration. This approach is more scalable and easier to maintain, especially when dealing with larger ranges or dynamic data. Printing 1 million numbers individually without a loop would be impractical and inefficient. It would require writing out each number manually, resulting in a massive amount of redundant code and significantly increasing the risk of errors. By contrast, using a loop allows us to achieve the same outcome with much less code and effort. A loop iterates over the numbers sequentially, printing each one automatically according to the loop's conditions. This approach is not only more concise but also more scalable and maintainable, making it the preferred method for tasks involving large numbers of iterations. By default, the increment of the loop is by 1. While it's not necessary to explicitly specify an increment of 1 in the loop statement, doing so can enhance code readability, making it clear that the loop variable is being incremented by 1 with each iteration. This explicit notation can aid in understanding the loop's behavior, especially in more complex code where the increment might not be immediately obvious. We can augment the loop by changing the increment value, which determines how much the loop variable increases or decreases with each iteration. For example, instead of incrementing by 1 each time, we can increment by 2, 3, 4, or any other desired value. This allows us to skip numbers or print them in a different pattern. It provides flexibility and control over the loop's behavior, enabling us to achieve various outcomes efficiently. I is often used as a shorthand for index in programming, especially in contexts like loops where it represents a position or iteration count. While it's not a strict rule, using I as a loop counter is a common convention in many programming languages, including Lua. The variable index in a for loop is commonly used as the loop counter. It represents the current iteration of the loop. In a typical for loop structure like for index equals 1, 100 do index starts at the initial value, in this case, 1, and the loop executes until index reaches the end value, in this case, 100, incrementing index by 1 with each iteration. Inside the loop block, index can be used to access elements or perform actions based on the current iteration number. It's a temporary variable that exists only within the scope of the loop and is automatically increment or decrement based on the loop's parameters.